So since it was the last big vintage toy show of the year, my only agenda was to find cool stuff. What if I did all the Mighty Max stuff here? All the Mighty Max? Yeah. Not here though, right? Not here. Okay, good, no. good. Which ones are the hard to find ones? That oh, one you yeah. said? Yeah, That's yeah, pretty awesome. Nothing was ever removed. Bloggy flips. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Jeff. Jeff? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I sent you a message uh, about the uh, uh, Frankenstein. The float gotcha, head. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you have it here? Yeah. <laughs> it's back there on the, uh, on the back. Push that little button right back there. Oh, it's right here. Oh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I thought you might like it. Oh, uh, wow. Little pocket monsters. Yeah. And then I got a... Uh, that's cool. Those, yeah, yeah, those okay. little like knockoff Argentina Madball things. Knockoff, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, How much you have on that? Twenty one? bucks on that. Twenty. Yeah. I'll start with this one for sure. Okay. I'll yeah. do the twenty on it. Cool. Yeah, do you? you uh, thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. Does he go all over the free market? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. He, I showed the videos. Do you remember the guy? I showed the videos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Target Plus. Yeah. I go as far as I can for sure. I'll come back around. And see. All right, thank nice you so much, buddy. Again. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, the old <laughs> Hey. How's it going? Fan, man. Thanks, man. What's Me your name? Five year old watched the show. Oh, oh. Nick is my name. Awesome. I appreciate that. Man. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Cool. Thank Good. you, man. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I have a store, so it's mostly marked as a store. Gotcha. <laughs> How's it going, hey, man? how's it going, man? How you doing? Good. Look at these zip ties there. I know they're blocking your eye. <laughs> Can't see anything. I know, right? <laughs> is that factory sealed? It is not. Okay. It used to be. Yeah, yeah. And the bottom <laughs> tape popped. Okay. So. But it's mint. In it box. is. Yeah. I mean, I, okay. yeah, definitely. We can take a look at it. Okay. There. That's yeah, pretty awesome. Nothing was ever removed. I'm but punched. yeah, that, that bottom tape just snapped at one day i could probably live with that i know it looks nice and it's pirate lion like that's yeah that's cool it's one of my favorite pieces i'm a huge battle beast fan right like absolutely in the 80s that was my favorite toy line because they were cheap and mom could afford them oh sure a mm -hmm. hundred of them yeah yeah it was like a dollar 79 for a two-pack or something that. yeah i, mean, I remember exactly. kb's had them three for a oh, dollar yeah. in one of those right. big What's, tubs just exactly through yep and uh i love pirate lion one of mm. you know, because he's the snake eyes from yeah. Boba Fett of that line. That's cool. Right, let me keep looking for Definitely, a minute. Definitely, man. Though. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat. And we do like deals, so we can always work on All stuff. Right, so. Let me see if I can bundle anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just selling the case as a whole. Yep. No, just all, all, all the case. Morning. How much you got on the button display? <clears throat> when the owner was going to price it, he had it at like 200 Okay. It's missing a couple. I don't know. I can't remember if it's a model Did you like 125 on it? 140 Sure. I'll do that. Awesome. Thanks, man. Pretty neat. I don't have any bags, and I apologize. Oh, that's okay. I'm sure I'll have to make sick. trips outside. Yeah, he got sick, and I had to come in, so. No problem. Appreciate the deal. Thanks, You're man. You're welcome, man. Have a good Christmas too, right. dude. Okay. Yeah, thanks, you too. Thank you. That's it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I can't pass for 10, sure. I got about 20 more coming this week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I found a collector store in Hillsboro, Ohio that had a all kinds of cases on clearance and then had them marked half off the price, oh, wow. price and bought them for like three bucks a piece. Yeah, that'll go good with some Remco figures for sure. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I appreciate it. You got it. That's cool. Give me the high end.
see anything, let me know. I'll tell you what I can do on it for you. I'm definitely gonna grab this. Cool. And then what do you have on the uncut turtle sheet over there? Uh, I was asking 80 originally. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd do 50 bucks. Sure. <laughs> awesome, thank you. No, nah, it's cool though, man. It's still really, really cool. I love it. There you go. I had a feeling you'd be the one to get there. <laughs> I missed it the first time around. I didn't even <laughs> see this part of the table, so I had to come back. You doing all right? Yeah, man. How much you have on the turtle briefcase thing? Maybe 45. 45 bucks. Cut. It's in decent shape. A little work on the bottom. Color's good. Zipper's good. And it's kind of cool. It got passed on. We were late. <laughs> I bought a sealed box. I have the cardboard back here. Of a Michigan. Yeah. And yeah. I just bought a display. That's missing two buttons. I already took it out. Oh, yeah? Um, trying to, I don't know if these are the same buttons or not. I might have to just buy a couple to see. Original movie ones. There's four or five. All right, how much do you have on these? I'm asking five. Oh, piece. If I did two plus the briefcase, like 50 bucks maybe? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's just what you got. I just guessed on two. Oh, awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. You need a bag? This could you yeah, yeah. If you have one. <laughs> And they did so much stuff. It's I awesome. Oh, in January? You know, I might just go, I might just show up. What do you think the best you'd do on the bandolier would be? I'd be at 250. 250, yeah, that's it. That was your magic number? That's where I'm at. All right, brother. I'll miss this piece, I'm not gonna lie to you. The longer it sits, it, I'm gonna lose it's it. It's one of those pieces that uh, I love. But Very I'm cool. here to make money, I'm not a museum. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. Very cool, and thank you so much. And man. I know you're out of Indiana somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've Green got a field. shop here in Springfield. I keep wanting to check this place out, which, yeah. Uh, Christmas Eve, if you're free, that'd be a good day to come. Everything's 20% off. Oh wow. Except consignment pieces, which is like one yeah, comic yeah. book. And that might be it right now. <laughs> awesome. Is we have an expensive comic book. Cool. But everything else will be 20% off. and Or any other time you come in, man. Yeah. It'd be great to see you. Awesome, man. Definitely sounds Definitely. good. Thank you, Thanks, man. man. You have a good one. All right, you too. Good luck to Hope you. We got some good video today. Um, oh, yeah. Um, it's only like three trips outside. Just, okay. There you, know, you go. Unloading stuff. Awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, I think I want to grab this little stack of accessories right there. Yeah, they're just five bucks each. Cool. I'll just grab them all. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are hard to find. Yeah. I'm sure I need them. 35 bucks. 35. You want a bag? Sure. You can wrap if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. 35. Oh, thank you. You're awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, you too. I have a big bag of vintage Amigo superheroes. Mm -hmm. Is that anything you'd be interested in looking at? I like them, yeah. yeah I got some of the Invisible Girls out there. Uh huh. Wonder Girls out there. Uh huh. Those are the hard ones. Really? I didn't know if that's something you'd want to look at. Okay, yeah. Do you have them with you? I do. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, you're out in the car, but... Okay. Do you, um, I uh, do, do you want to do that? I'll look at them. Okay. Is this good now good, or would you rather do Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want to head yeah. out there. Come in here. I have this whole set of uh, Klingon that goes... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Star Trek. Yeah. He's in really good shape. He's in really good shape. Yeah, the Batman stuff is cool. I think that's like I said, the whole set. And are just a matchbox for the, with the boxes, the old ones? I'd look at them. Sure. Yeah. Is there from his toy hood? From oh, really? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know a lot about any of this stuff, but I mean, you know, I think it's all cool, obviously. So this is Big Jim's friend, Big Jeff. <laughs> oh, gotcha. The Hulk. He's a pretty good show. Yeah, I like the Hulk. We brought them in case we wanted to trade with someone. Yeah, oh, sure, yeah. I've looked with that in the past. I mean, the other one's... Not find anything you want, though? Um, no, not, not in there. Yeah. No. Which ones are the hard to find ones? That uh, one you yeah, said? she is. Uh, she, the girls are. This one, and then this is, this. she's the toughest of the world. Is she? Okay, That's cool. part of the, the uh, Teen Titans line. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. 
Oh, that's okay. Are we're, those we're, for sale? Or? They are, yeah. We brought them to trade. Okay. We brought them to trade, but we didn't see anything in there. And we've seen him okay. on YouTube, and yeah. so right. we just engaged with him. So, yeah. Okay. You're, you're gonna, you look too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. I, didn't, I wasn't from trying Pittsburgh. to cut in oh, on nobody's yeah. deal. We're from Pittsburgh. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So. And uh, we're going out to the yeah, game pit into the Colts game. Okay. And we found us along the way. I'm like, throw them in the car bed. It is a thing. We see something we want what to year are these from? Yeah, like, these, are, these are from my childhood. I'm 52. Oh, wow. Childhood. We're, I'm 55, so oh, I remember Oh, okay, these. we're 50. Yeah, That's we're, we're 52, <laughs> so we're right there with you. These are, are these all different prices? Um, You know, honestly, I'd sell the whole set if, if you cared, and, and this is here as well. Okay. Um, okay. I have no idea, but I like the boxes. Well, the boxes are the thing. Yeah. Because they're in such good shape. If you could come up with a price for these and then and then all the car stuff, then... Probably 200 for both. Okay. For the girls. Um, I mean, if you, you wanted to do... You can, we haven't put them on eBay or anything. Yeah, sure. we, we haven't. We've yeah. just, we haven't we've been looking at them, but they've been selling for, you know, 150 or more for each of them. Yeah. I I do, I probably... 250 for all the girls and all the matchboxes. So just that that 250? Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'll do that. So. Awesome. 250. Yeah. Just have in the box. All right, thank you so much. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Watch for it on the yeah, watch sure. for you on on YouTube. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Hey, thanks a lot. Um, I can actually do 40 on or 40, 30 on that one. Okay. Because that's my antique mall tag where they take a commission. Gotcha, gotcha. Which they won't be doing here. So. Do you know how complete it is or anything? Uh, it's missing the. Okay. But it's got the rest. Um, gotcha. And it's missing the uh, the little missile that goes gotcha. in there. Gotcha. Okay. More. Yes. Mighty Ducks. What if I did all the Mighty Max stuff here? All the Mighty Max? Yeah. So it would be, let's do 50 for all of it. Oh, sure. Great deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 50? Thank you. Good luck to you. Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. yeah well, all right, what is it? One four. One four. Yeah. Yeah. I just sold one with the mask and everything not long ago. It's so hard to find. Not here though, right? Not here. Okay, good, no. good. I have everything carded as far as like the monster lines go, except for this and the uh, uh, Raphael, like the Meta Luna. Oh, nice. um, but probably not gonna find them carded, so I'll, yeah, I'll just yeah, buy at least like this. So Should be like forty. Um, I could probably put it in here. Okay. Probably okay. I appreciate. All good. Man. Thanks, man. Or I'll buy one, get one half off. Okay, just all the turtles or all the carded stuff? All the carded stuff. Right? All the carded stuff, okay. If you're into just one, let me know. I can tell you what I can do on it. Okay. Sounds good. What do you think the best you would do on Ramba is? Do you see the price on it? It says two twenty four ninety nine. What are you thinking? Because he's nice. Yeah. Do like one seventy. I don't do one eighty. One eighty, sure. I'll do that. Thank you. Are you interested in that uh, uh, Ninja Turtle? It's 180. It's it's not a line I collect, but it's not one I see very often either. So it's kind of caught my attention. No, she's, uh, I do 150 on her. 150. Yeah, why not? Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. If you're up in the Cleveland area. Uh, my store is a uh, Groovy Little Toy Store, so right up by the Lorraine, Ohio. Okay, Groovy Little Toy Store. Groovy Little Toy Store. Awesome. Thank you. Sounds good, man. Thank you. It's got four different things if you want to get Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. That's funny. Uh, do you have any room if I buy what's left of the uh, poster books, the uh, Toxic Crusaders? If I buy what's left of the Toxic Crusader poster yeah. books. There's seven, right? <laughs> yeah. seven? I think was 60. Okay, I'll but do 60. That's a good deal. Yeah, sure. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey, man. Thank you so much for the invite. Absolutely. Thanks appreciate for it. coming. Had a great time. Thanks. And we made it back to the showroom. So since it was the last big vintage toy show of the year, my only agenda was to find cool stuff. Mission accomplished. This show is called the Springfield Toy and Comics Show. It takes place in Springfield, Ohio. This was the very first year for this event. Coming from a guy that goes to lots of vintage toy shows, I would say this is probably one to keep an eye on. I was talking to the promoter afterwards. Apparently by the spring show, they're already going to expand into another building. Plus keep the building they already have. So twice as big by the second show. 
Everyone always asks me how I hear about these shows, how I know when they're happening. I'm going to link the show's Facebook page in the description. I'd probably just go ahead and give it a follow so you'll be up to date on these future events. Anyway, let me give you a closer look at some of the very cool stuff I was able to pick up. So going down the list, definitely made a few impulse buys like this fantasy figure case. Ten bucks, couldn't really resist it. The artwork is awesome. Don't really know what I'm going to do with that, but it's kind of perfect for like Rimco figures and even your He-Man figures. Thought it was kind of neat. Likewise, this vintage Team and Team Mona Lisa figure, mint on card. It's not really a portion of the Team and T line that I collect, especially carded like this. Kind of got caught up in the moment, so it'll probably end up in a trade or sell pile or something. But I did think this Argentina Madballs knockoff was pretty cool. I was at a toy show earlier in the year. A vendor had a whole bucket of these in the package like this for like 10 bucks a piece. I kind of regretted just not buying them all. At least I now have one though. This particular figure is called Phantasma. And of course, I always love a good Madballs knockoff. I'm getting closer and closer to finishing up the vintage Star Wars action figure line. This is one of the elusive Last 17 figures. It's Ramba. This only leaves one Last 17 figure to go for me, and that's the Imperial. Imperial Gunner. Other than that, I only have a few more common figures to track down, like the Bespin security guards. Shouldn't be too challenging from here on out. Picked up a nice little lot of Battle Beast accessories. These are definitely the hardest part to find, so to see seven laying there for five bucks a piece, that's a pretty dang good deal. Had to buy them all. Haven't done the research yet to see who they all go with, but I'm sure they're going to come in handy. I came across a few incomplete Mighty Max pieces. A couple horror heads like Lockjaw and Robot Invader. He does have a Max with him. Lockjaw has the little villain down there. Then we also have the Skull Mountain, which is a really cool playset. It's one of the larger ones. Also incomplete, but it does have quite a few accessories with it. 50 bucks all in. Thought that was a pretty good starting point. I think I already have these two complete, but you know, maybe I can find the pieces to finish this up eventually. In the meantime, obviously it still displays really well. I thought the TMNT button display was just fantastic. I may have overpaid a little bit for this, but I never personally come across this sort of thing, these old store displays. Thought it was just really, really great. It was missing two buttons, but I did run across a guy that was selling off some of the buttons. So I was able to complete the entire display. And from the fella selling the buttons, I also picked up this super sick 1989 TMNT. I guess it's like a little suitcase. Kind of looks like it'd be about the same size as my iPad. So I guess when I'm feeling really fancy and doing my business stuff, I can, I can be carrying this around. Ran into another cool guy that has a store called the Retro Rocket. It's in Ohio. Place I'd really like to visit someday, but I've not personally been there yet. Did pick up some really great stuff from him though, like this uncut sheet of TMNT cards. It's kind of hard to show it all to you, but let me try to unroll some of it. Thought this was really great for obvious reasons. It does have some wear on it, some little holes and stuff here and there. Not too bad overall though. Now it's got to kind of find a place to display this. It's pretty enormous. Also from him, picked up the Pee Wee's Color Forms playset. Fantastic box on this. Graphics look great. Very, very displayable. And then I almost missed it. So glad he pointed this out to me. One of the two remaining Universal Monsters team and T figures I needed. The Invisible Man, Michelangelo. Loose, of course. No accessories, but for 140 bucks, believe it or not, that's a great deal on this guy, even in this condition. If you remember recently at the flea market, I picked up the trading card to go along with this figure. So if I ever find him complete or find the accessories or even find a carded version, that's great. If not, I have a fantastic little placeholder and I'm just fine with that. Value wise, this might be one of my best finds of the show. Plus, it's just pretty fantastic. Saw this stack of Toxic Crusaders poster books, said it was old store stock. There were seven of them told. Total, 10 bucks a piece, got the whole stack for 60 bucks. Inside, it's filled with eight different posters, each one better than the last. Nice, colorful 90s graphics. Just something that you don't see all the time. And to find seven at one time, pretty cool. I'm sure I'll probably keep one and maybe trade or sell some of the other ones off at toy shows. Looks like these things normally sell for 25 to 40 bucks a piece. So very good deal on those. And speaking of selling and trading stuff, hunting for quote unquote inventory is not really high on my priority list when I'm at a toy show like this. But I met a nice couple there who had a trunk full of toys just in case they found something they wanted to trade for. They didn't find anything, so they invited me out to take a look. Had a bunch of Mego dolls and Matchbox cars, neither of which are high on my collecting list. I do really like Migos, but they tend to confuse me with the Type 1 and Type 2 bodies and how the reproduction accessories look so close to the original, it's hard to tell them apart. Just not something I'd normally gravitate towards anymore. Same with die cast in general. Not really a passion of mine, but I can certainly appreciate the collectability of it. And plus, these boxes are just pretty dang cool. 
There was another guy taking a look at some of the Migos, so I didn't necessarily want to buy everything, but I did pick up two of what they said were the rarer of the Migos that they had. We have the Fantastic Four Invisible Girl, and from the Teen Titans, we have Wonder Girl. Two I've personally never come across before. Not in the best shape, but decent shape overall. Missing some accessories, but it turns out that even at 100 bucks a piece, I think it was a pretty good deal. And then 50 for all the cars, especially with all these boxes, seemed like a no-brainer. Now, not all of these have a car in them. Some of them are empty. Some of the cars are in really great shape. Some are pretty beat up. If you look at this Blaze Buster fire truck, definitely pretty nice, good paint on it. Box is in great shape. But then if you look at the super fast Dodge Challenger, obviously this one's been played with, well loved, really nice box on it. But all in all, I think it was a great deal and I'm glad I ran into them. And that brings us to my favorite find of the entire show, the Battle Beast Bandolier. Tough piece to find in general, even tougher to find in a box and even tougher to find in a nice box. And this box is is definitely nice. I picked this up from the fellas over at Roma Collectibles. It's a store I'd really like to visit. It's been on my radar for a while, just never had the opportunity yet, so really glad I was able to at least meet them, do a little business with them to start things out. But this is just an amazing piece. It was marked at $300. I had a figure of $250 in my head, but since the show had just started, I didn't want to just come in and, and make a lower offer to begin with, so I kind of walked around for a while, kind of looked for some things to bundle with it maybe. But at the end of the day, I asked him what his bottom dollar was, when he said 250 deal was already done. Super nice guy. I really want to check out the store. If this is what he's bringing to a show, I cannot wait to see what's behind those doors. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye.